He is known for his compositions in opera, chamber music, and sacred choral works. He was a contemporary of Gioacchino Rossini and gained recognition for his opera La Testa di Bronzo. His name is Carlo Evejo Soliva. In the realm of classical music, there is one name that stands out, Carlo Evejo Soliva, a legendary Swiss-Italian composer. Born in Casale Monferrato, Piedmont, Soliva hailed from a family of Swiss chocolatiers who had settled in Italy. From a young age, Soliva showed immense talent and passion for music. He studied pianoforte and composition at the prestigious Milan Conservatory, honing his skills and developing his unique style. During his time, Soliva was a contemporary of Gioacchino Rossini, another renowned composer. However, Soliva's most notable work was his 1816 opera, La Testa di Bronzo. This masterpiece immediately caught the attention of Stendhal, who described Soliva as having the figure chative d'un homme de genie, or the frail appearance of a genius. The opera showcased Saliva's exceptional talent and solidified his place in musical history. Throughout his career, Soliva composed, taught, and conducted across various countries, including Italy, Poland, Russia, Switzerland, and France. His contributions to the world of classical music were immense, leaving a lasting impact on the genre. Sadly, Saliva's life was cut short, and he passed away in Paris at the age of 62. However, his legacy lives on through the annual Carlo Evejo Soliva competition for piano and chamber music organized by the Instituto Musical Soliva in his hometown. Carlo Evejo Soliva's compositions, particularly his opera La Testa di Bronzo, hold profound significance in the field of music. La Testa di Bronzo captivated audiences with its melodious tunes, intricate orchestration, and compelling storytelling. It showcased Saliva's mastery of composition and his ability to evoke emotions through music. This opera, along with his other works, contributed to the rich tapestry of classical music and continues to be performed and celebrated to this day. Carlo Evejo Saliva's life and music remind us of the incredible talent and creativity that can emerge from unexpected places. His journey from a Swiss-Italian family of chocolatiers to becoming a revered composer serves as an inspiration to aspiring musicians worldwide. Saliva's legacy lives on through his compositions and the annual piano and chamber music competition held in his honor. His contributions to the world of classical music will forever be cherished and celebrated. Carlo, a talented composer, quickly rose to the top of his class at the Milan Conservatory. With his passion for music and inspiration drawn from Mozart, he soon found himself conducting at the prestigious La Scala. His operas, heavily influenced by Mozart's style, became popular in Milan, with frequent performances starting from 1807. In April 1816, La Scala organized a competition for new librettists, and Carlo was chosen by the jury to compose the music, even though the top prize went to Felice Romani. His work in Mozart style was well received by local audiences, and the following year, his first opera, La Testa di Bronzo o Sia la Capanna Solitaria, became an immediate success, with a record-breaking 47 performances in the 1816-1817 season. However, this marked the peak of his popularity. His second opera, Berenice di Armenia, premiered in Turin in 1817, and his third, La Zingara del Asturi, played at La Scala, but neither received great warmth from the audience. In 1818, his opera Giulia e Sesto Pompeo, turned out to be a fiasco at La Scala, leaving Carlo disheartened. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag hashtag start hashtag in 1821, Carlo made a significant move to Poland, where he became the director of singing at the conservatory in Warsaw. It was there that he married one of his students, Maria Kraluska, and formed a friendship with the renowned composer Frederick Chopin. In November 1830, Carlo had the honor of conducting the first performance of Chopin's piano concerto in E minor. However, political turmoil followed the defeat of the November uprising, prompting Carlo to move to St. Petersburg. There, he took up positions as the conductor of the Royal Chapel and director of the Imperial Singing School. It was during his time in St. Petersburg that he had the opportunity to interact with Mikhail Glinka, another influential composer of the time. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag hashtag start hashtag in 1841, Carlo settled in the picturesque Tissanese village of Semi-1 in the Val di Blinio, where his father had been born. It was a peaceful retreat where he could focus on his compositions and enjoy the serenity of the surroundings. Later on, Carlo relocated to Paris, where he once again crossed paths with Chopin and became acquainted with influential figures like George Sand and possibly Cristina Travolzio Belgiagioso. He dedicated a Salve Regina to Belgiagioso's husband, showcasing his deep appreciation for their friendship. Throughout his professional life, Carlo Evejo Saliva's compositions captured the essence of Mozart's style and resonated with audiences, particularly during his early years in Milan. 
His journey took him from conducting at La Scala to Warsaw, St. Petersburg, and eventually to the tranquil village of Semiwan, where he found solace and inspiration. Though his popularity waned over time, Carlo's contributions to the world of music and his collaborations with esteemed composers such as Chopin left an indelible mark on musical history. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.